Hello and welcome. Today we want to introduce an upcoming new version of Superfit Service that's available now and coming to you soon. So in this session, I have Mikael with me, the product manager for the service product. Welcome, Michael. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much, Janet. So what are we talking about today? Yeah, so today we're going to talk, of course, about the new SuperOffice service, but uh, to break it down a little bit, we will start with, you know, the background and the goal behind creating this new version of SuperOffice service, and we'll introduce a new way of working with uh, customer requests. And of course, I'm assuming that all of you listening wants to know when it's coming and how you prepare uh, for this uh, upcoming change. And uh, we want to get you started now, so we will provide you with some things that you can start doing already now uh, while uh, listening to this and after uh, this session. Um, so that's what we're going to do uh, today. And um, yeah, so the background, Jeanette, how about that one? Yeah, so as you all know, uh, SuperOffice CRM, maybe someone also knows it as sales and marketing and SuperOffice service. Uh, have traditionally supported quite different types of processes. And it started off at one point as two different systems that now have been tied together. Yeah. And up until now, you as a user of SuperOffice have experienced this and it's kind of a legacy way of approaching sales and support as two separate workflows, two separate departments. So, uh, but that's something we want to change now. So despite that there have been a common customer database and similar look and feel across sales, marketing, and the service features in SuperOffice. Uh, the feature supporting customer service especially has appeared in a separate browser, and it's uh, been another way of working with the functionality within that uh, um, browser or in that client. And uh, that wasn't the same way as it worked within the sales and the marketing clients. So that's something uh, we would like to change uh, now. Yes. And uh, as we think that the customer really is the same throughout the journey, uh, whether we engage with them as prospects during a sales process or taking care of them after they have bought something from us. So why should the solutions supporting these different phases in the customer lifecycle uh, with us differ? So we thought there's, there's a better way. And now we can present a solution where SuperOffice CRM truly is one platform for all teams. Yeah, so to create this, we, together with the product development and R&D team, set some, some goals to actually be able to uh, achieve this. So we knew we wanted to only provide users with one CRM interface, no matter what type of engagement you have with customers, if it's a marketing sales or service that you usually work with. And we wanted to improve the navigation that users uh, are feeling when they are accessing different uh, features and information within uh, SuperOffice. And we wanted to simplify the experience of using a customer service tool uh, and understanding the pressure teams supporting customer service are under. We knew we need to seek new ways to increase their productivity. And all of these factors uh, stem into our desire to increase the user adoption and help companies using SuperOffice CRM to place their customers at the center and benefit from their customer centricity. Uh, so we had an approach to this, didn't we, Jeanette? Yeah, we, well, this task was to fully embrace the user. So in addition to the usual uh, market research, looking at trends and technology uh, movements, we decided to gain as much feedback from actual users out there as possible. So uh, you were a part of this. Can you tell a little bit more about the, the process and the research phase? Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, and the obvious uh, group to start, you know, doing the research upon was, you know, the let's call them the dedicated agents, those that work daily with uh, tickets or requests all the time. Typically, they are experts in handling, you know, the incoming questions and requests. They are answering all sorts of questions, solving issues and handling uh, complaints that comes, you know, from everyone uh, asking your uh, your company about things. It could be anything from claims to regular just opening hour questions or general questions. Uh, but we also talk to uh, uh, people who hand only handle these type of 
requests or questions from time to time to understand how their uh, needs could best be served within SuperOffice. So it should be easy to just start uh, start to answer requests if you're not that used to it. Uh, and of course, we needed to talk to as many service managers as possible as, way, uh, as well to understand their unique challenges and requirements in uh, regards of uh, team handling and distributing resources and making some you know, statistics and knowledge drawn out of the actual requests that they are handling. But most importantly, instead of, you know, just ask, uh, asking them, what do you need in this kind of software? We started to uh, ask them, how do you actually work? Because if we are to embrace what the users need, uh, we really need to understand how they are working uh, and what comes in the way of them doing their job at the best uh, of their abilities. So what we found in our research while doing this was uh, that we found key six struggles when handling uh, these type of uh, requests. Uh, and the number one was that they're constantly switching context during the day when you work as a, a request agent or a user handling these type of questions. You often work uh, on more than one request at a time. Uh, another thing was that you looked up answers in previous requests while at the same time working on a, a new request or several new requests. So you need to find the information all over the place in different requests. And you typically have several queues uh, that allows you to follow up and monitor a lot of different queues. It's not only one, it's usually several. And uh, while you have a lot of different queues, it's important as well to have the right, uh, the right layout and information uh, in these different queues. You can, uh, needed to be able to have different type of fields, different type of layouts for different queues. And uh, the last one, we found it difficult to update the properties on the request at the same time whilst you're replying to uh, to the actual tickets. It was very common that they uh, sent the question to the customer or provide an answer, and then uh, they needed to go back and change the properties or details afterwards. But that is should be gone now. Yes. Well, all these challenges uh, results in a lot of time being wasted, uh, people not being able to work as efficiently as they want to, uh, and a lot of, like you mentioned, frustration along the way. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, this has been uh, something that we have considered when we uh, have been working on the new solution. So we have some good news for you. Yeah, we have something to uh, to show you because it's a complete uh, makeover, I would say. Absolutely. So, yeah. So Please I think reveal. we should just pull the curtains. Yeah, shouldn't we just reveal <laughs> it? Yeah. <laughs> pull the curtains and let's gonna go on with it. You know, what's what's behind all the fuss here? So uh, I would like to introduce to you the new SuperOffice uh, service. As, as you can see, it is fully embedded in the SuperOffice CRM uh, client. It has, you know, the request tab on the left-hand side in the navigator. And it offers better and more intuitive visual help for you as the user to understand the context and what you can or should do with information available at hand. Uh, all service features are there and they follow the same experience of other parts of SuperOffice, simplifying uh, the use of these for not just the expert, but for everyone. And you have more information available in one view, letting you multitask more easily on each ticket as well as work effectively with more than one ticket at a time. But uh, pictures are pictures and, you know, live demonstrations is another thing. So maybe we should show them a little bit more, Shanator. What do you think? Yes, absolutely. So let's start mm -hmm. with the first uh, challenge that we mentioned is that sometimes we're constantly switching uh, context during the day. And I personally, I did this a lot because I was working both in the service solution and in the CRM, and I used them both to look up information while I was working on a, a request, for example. So we have a good solution for this now. Yeah, and I think that's a very common scenario. And as you can see here, you know, I start to type something to respond to the customer, but then I, I just have a notion that, okay, maybe I should check, you know, the calendar, didn't we have a meeting with this customer previously or something? So I jump directly to my calendar. I check, you know, the activity. I go to the company card, checking stuff there. Are there some information I can gain here or knowledge? Uh, checking the actual contact, what have we done towards John previously? And then I jump back to the request. And 
even better now is that if I just want some su summary of you know the latest things or activities we have done towards a contact or a company, I could easily access that now directly from within the request. And I could, uh, if I press one of those items there, I will directly navigate to the chat or an activity or sale or project, depending on where I click, of course. And here I see a, a chat session we had with him a couple of days ago. And, you know, then we know what actually happened here. And I can give a, a much more valuable response to the customer here. So it's a very nice way of, you know, combining data in, in one client. But we have more struggles, don't we? <laughs> well, struggles, no. <laughs> we have solutions. No, no struggles, but we are um, solving them. I mean, no struggles. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think well, mm. what you show now is is uh, great for many people also to have that overview uh, and kind of have everything in one place is a great, great way to work. Uh, but sometimes you need to look up information. You might be working on several uh, requests at one time. Uh, so we have some uh, new changes here as well. Yeah. So as you can see here on uh, the top bar within requests, we have now the possibility to create multiple tabs up here and you can move them while by doing drag and drop back and forth. And if I double click in a specific list here, my own open requests, I will open up a new request on uh, in a new tab and if i do another one i will have a third tab here with uh with a request and this creates you know it's an easier navigation i can just click back and forth between the different requests here and i don't have to use different browser uh, tabs and etc so it's a very nice way of uh, creating you know the an overview for uh, for the agent or the user so they can keep track of several requests at the same time multitask and work yeah, efficient. multitasking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we also have uh, scenarios where you might want to look up answers uh, in other requests while you're working uh, on a specific request. So we have uh, some updates there as well. Yeah, so it's, you know, a little bit like uh, previously where you work on, uh, uh, you have several requests maybe open, or in this case, I have a printer issue. So I remember that, okay, a couple of weeks ago I had a similar uh, problem at the customer sites. So I can search for uh, tickets related to printer issues and I can uh, easily open one of them and check, you know, how we responded uh, the last time and just uh, take that bit of information from one request and then just yes, jump to the other one and provide a valuable response to John in this case. So he get uh, uh, a full answer on his uh, problem here. So it's very easy to take information back and forth between the requests when everything is in uh, the same uh, top bar there without jumping back and forth. So that's a very nice way of uh, adding value in a very efficient way. Uh, but usually it's not only several requests, it could be this challenge as well. Yes, absolutely. I think many people feel this pain. They want the overview. They have several cues to follow up on. Uh, you have uh, responsibilities in the different cues, so you want a good overview. Um, so you can show us some more on that, Nikai? Yeah, of course. It's not only requests that you can have several of within the top bar there. You see here I have unassigned requests. I also open up my own open requests and of course, I can move back and forth between these and uh, I can also have uh, searches or my selections here is my customers that have open requests and these are the stored ones, the ones I'm accessing a, a lot of times. But of course, I can just use find requests to uh, create my search criteria on the fly and that I want to check, you know, a list of tickets or requests that have a specific detail or preference and start to work with them. And all of them are uh, available easily in uh, these different queues here. So you get an, an overview of uh, everything. Uh, so that's very nice, I would say as well, to uh, to keep uh, be on top on things and keeping track. And customize it. Also, yeah, I like that you can it, have your own selections. Well. Yeah. Then we have uh, this one. challenge as well. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think it goes to the same thing. You have the list, right? But you don't really have much options to customize the layout of uh, those lists. Usually they've been uh, very static, uh, but now we have some more options. Yeah. So now it's up to you as a user, or if you have some default settings that you could easily, you know, move these columns back and forth. Uh, and of course, since it's within the SuperOffice CRM client, we also have the possibility to enable grouping and filtering. So you could easily just uh, enable this and take for this case status and move it up to the grouping bar. And you will see that now everything is grouped based on status instead. And you have all the corresponding requests under each uh, status here. And if you want to filter at the same time, you just add uh, that you want to see the support queue and the administration queue here. And you are filtering out the rest of the uh, requests so you just get the ones that you really really need so that's one way of customizing creating your specific view for a specific queue or selection or a search so you can fine-tune and work more efficiently and then the last one yes I'm guilty of this as well uh, sometimes uh, you work a bit too efficiently and we close the case and we remember, or you don't remember to update all the properties on the request. So there are some changes in the new solution as well. Yeah. So to even more increase, you know, the efficiency of uh, the users, we have added the possibility to, of course, you can write manually or use the reply templates. And usually before you just sent this and then later on you changed all the uh, the details or the preferences on the request, but now we can do it just, uh, even in the same uh, process here. So we reassign it to Anna, we change the status to in progress and uh, double check that the message is correct. And then I press send and everything is stored uh, directly. So I send the message, I have updated the preferences and now I can move along to, uh, to the next request or check my queue, what I would like to do. And uh, speaking of that, you know, checking your queues or your lists or selection, we are coming with a new feature for this as well, where you have live updates on uh, on requests. So it's one uh, essential that we see, you know, feature that we deliver to the new service solution as well. This is a way of keeping you updated with uh, when other users are working on the same requests as the one you are working with. So. It's notifying the user what is going on for better control. And you can even, you know, use your mouse cursor to get some tooltips saying that this specific request is actually being edited by Philip at the same time as I am viewing it or that I have it open in a specific tab. So it creates better efficiency, efficiency and better usability. So as a user, you get notified uh, directly when something is happening here in your different queues or a certain request that you have open in a tab. So you could navigate there when you know that there's new information to be, be seen here. So that's, that's going to be very cool and efficient as well. Yeah. I really look forward to this one. It will help a yeah. lot, especially when you are uh, also bigger teams that are working on uh, similar cases. Yeah. Right, so now we can present a solution where SuperOffice CRM truly is one platform for all teams. So this is a solution that allows everyone in or your organization to see and use the information you have about your customers mm -hmm. so that everyone can aid in providing great customer experiences at every touch point. Yeah, it's going to be very, very great to work with. I, I can assure you about that. <laughs> yeah. So we hope you're excited too about uh, what you just saw. Um, and there's, of course, more to show and explore. Uh, but first, uh, let's, let's address the first question that usually pops up um, or pops into mind when seeing a new version of the product uh, that you already have. So it's, of course, when will you get the, this version? Uh, it was actually made available to new customers uh, end of April this year, 2023. And many have also gotten a head start as a pilot customer and also giving us very valuable feedback along the way. Um, but existing customers will then get this new version uh, of SuperOffice Service over the next coming months. So how quickly you will get it depend upon how um, quickly you want to get started. 
but of course, if you have customizations, uh, that needs to be checked and verified before you uh, upgrade or migrate. So the next steps uh, is to talk to your Superoffice representative to assess your solution and if you're ready to migrate. But like I mentioned, it also depends on the level of customizations uh, and um, of course, some other uh, factors as well. So Michael, can you please give us some more details about this? Yeah, uh, of course, because new version creates new opportunities. So before upgrading though to this new version, which has such significant changes to the interface and way of working with requests, there are always a bit of preparation work to be done. So some things uh, work differently and you and your team need time to learn more about that. So if you have customizations like scripts or custom screens in your solution, this needs to be checked and in some cases remade uh, in the new version. And this would then be part of the preparation work before enabling this uh, new SuperOffice service. Uh, and of course, this may be like we experience in our own company, an opportunity to take a look at ways to optimize the way we do things. Uh, we discussed that we could streamline a lot more simply by, by taking a new look at our processes against the way, you know, we had it set up uh, previously. So here is a perfect opportunity to take a look to see if there are areas you can improve or simply re revitalize the, the way you have set up your super office solution. So even though we could give you the new version tomorrow or today, but we would still want to give you some time to prepare for it. and. Of course, we in our network of partners are, are here to help you if, uh, if you would like help with it. And uh, one thing that's also uh, good to mention here regarding you know, preparations is, for example, some of the new way of working that represents both new opportunities and the need to embrace changes concerning the current dashboard tiles and selections that you use in today's version. Uh, these will not be transferred automatically, but will have to be recreated in the core CRM uh, features or in SuperOffice CRM uh, client. And if you haven't tried to create the uh, dashboard tiles yet, we think you'll find that this, uh, offer, that this offer plenty of flexibility and ways to present and showcase the KPIs you're tracking from, from service in a much more efficient way than the old one was uh, able to do. Yes. And you can start doing this now because you always have access to the core of CRM as well. So you can start playing around and mapping out what you need uh, and recreate that in um, SuperOffice. Um, and because all of the data and the options are available you, uh, for you, uh, you can use find, you can create selections, you can make graphs and tiles and dashboards based on requests in core CRM. And, uh, we have a lot of good uh, documentations on this if you want to learn more and how you how you set up these different dashboards. Uh, but I can say that we have done the migration uh, for our own support team. And through it, we also realized that there was a lot of old uh, selections and reports that simply was no longer in use or um, an amount we wanted to migrate was a whole lot less than we first thought. And our own experience when upgrading our SuperOffice server solution uh, was that it contained a lot of customizations and, and dates from years and years that it was a lot that we simply didn't actually need anymore. So in addition to uh, the improvements in this version, this is a, a good opportunity to take a look at how you work with it and improve or improve your internal processes and workflows. So we are very excited to bring this version uh, to the market to everyone. And of course, we are here to help uh, you migrate and to get the most out of the new solution. And first of all, that means that we will have a running dialogue with you on what and how and when. And we will reach out to everyone over the next coming months. But of course, uh, if you're uh, very eager to get started, you're always welcome to reach out to us to get a head start and to discuss your options. So there's a lot of documentations that's being drawn up from user guides. We have videos, we have webinars, uh, and also in-app uh, resources and product tours that will become available uh, to help you to get the most out of the new version and to help you with a smooth transition. And of course, like you mentioned, Mikael, uh, our own and partner ex or partners experienced consultants are able and ready to help you with identifying and preparing for the migration dependent upon what you need. 
So uh, we are ready uh, and uh, to get you ready, uh, look for um, all of the information on these pages uh, and then book a time and discuss what it will mean for your company and let's plan and set a date for your upgrade. Yeah. And uh, we will upgrade our customers, you know, initially now on a first come first serve basis. So the sooner you book a time, the sooner we can plan how to best get you started for, for your specific company. So it's been great to have you all here and thank you for listening and uh, please get in touch, in touch with us. We are, we are here to help you to provide the best customer service solution that's possible. So get in touch. Thank you very much. Great. Bye-bye. Have a super day. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye.